perform the division. The division of 8x to the 10th plus 6x to the 7th over 2x to the 4th. And what we have here is polynomial division. We have a multi-term polynomial, it's a binomial, two-term polynomial, being divided by a monomial. So in this case, what we're doing is we're dividing by a monomial. And there's a specific technique for that that we can use, and that is to write each term of the numerator polynomial, write each term of the numerator polynomial, giving each term its own fraction bar. And then we give each of those two fractions, or rational expressions really, because they contain variables, give them each their own denominator of the monomial that's in the bottom. The 2x to the fourth is a monomial. It's a single term polynomial, so that's why we're dividing by a monomial. This is one technique of, uh, of performing the, the correct multiple, uh, di uh, division. So now I'm going to switch colors to red so we can see some of the action steps. Um, well, actually, let me define, as far as the numbers go, we are going to use straight fraction type simplification where we see common factors, we're going to divide them out. But what I want to prepare for is for variables in fractions or rational expressions, what we want to use is called the quotient rule for exponents. And what that tells us is when the bases are the same, when we have the same bases in a uh, fraction, in the numerator and denominator, the bases of these exponents are the same, we can take the exponent on the denominator uh, base and subtract it from the numerator exponent. And then we replace all this guy down here with a 1. So we're going to use this, this technique on the variables. in problems that are like these. So um, if we perform this these first, if I take this, you know, notice that the x is the same base in the numerator and denominator, what I'm allowed to do is subtract the exponent that's in the denominator from the exponent that's in the numerator on the same base, this x is. And then we're going to take this x to the fourth and replace it with a 1. That's what this rule that's what this rule is telling us. Subtract the uh, denominator exponent from the numerator exponent. Replace the whole denominator uh, instance of the ex uh, exponential expression with a 1. And it's times this 2 that's already next to it. So it's a way of replacing with 1 is a way of getting, uh, doing the operation and leaving everything else that's, every other factor in the, um, this expression alone. Now the other thing that we know, um, and you know, we're, we'll finish this up in the next step, the other thing we know is that this 8 has a 2 times 4 in it. So if I extend this fraction bar, what we're allowed to do with this 2 and this 2 is divide anything that we see that has a common factor with a numerator and denominator, we can divide them out. Any 2 divide by, divides by 2, or any number divides into itself, leaving 1's behind. So what we have left in this first term is, here's a 4 that's left over from the 8, and we have an x to the 10 minus 4, the result of that subtraction from the quotient rule is 6. In the denominator where we have 1 times 1 now is 1, the whole first term reduces to 4x to the 6th power because anything over 1 is itself. Now let's come to use the quotient rule again because we, we see exponential expressions with the same bases in, involved in a quotient or a fraction. We're allowed to subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator exponent and replace its instance in the denominator with a 1 times whatever's next to it. This 6 is also factors as 2 times 3. These 2's are identical factors, so we divide them out and replace them with 1's. What we have in this second fraction at this point is we have a 3 left behind and we have an x 
raised to the 7 minus 4 is 3. In the denominator, we have 1 times 1 is 1. Uh, we can't leave this plus behind. That's the sign, the operation between the two fractions of the rational exponents. So in the end, uh, this 3x plus 3, uh, 3x to the third power, excuse me, is over 1, so the over 1 goes away. Anything over 1 is itself. This should leave us with the appropriate answer. We scan through our answer choices and we find that the correct answer is shown as answer C.